Come and join me on today's video while I go fossil hunting on one of my local beaches looking for beautiful Jurassic Ammonites. There's a lot of fantastic Ammonites cracked open in today's video so stay watching. The rocks or nodules as we call them fall out of the cliff and wash far out at low tide by the sea. Once cracked open Occasionally, you'll get a beautiful specimen on the inside. This particular one needs further preparation work. A fresh little cliff fall that's fallen from the very top of the cliff all the way up there at the top. I, for one, won't be looking under there. Very dangerous. The hot weather is making the cliffs dry out and they're very crumbly and quite dangerous at this time. I've just popped open this nodule here and on the inside there is a crustacean. It's revealed a beautiful lobster claw. Hopefully you can make out the pinches there. I think that's very cool. It's a truly stunning day to be out collecting fossils. Beautiful blue sky and a blue sea. Little cliff fall over there. Lots of shaly bits which have just come down. A good giveaway that there could be a ammonite on the inside of a rock is the nicely rounded shape. Quite often these will contain ammonites, but it's just a matter of how they will split open. Just paddling my way through this shallow little bit while the tide retracts out. So I've just collected these two rocks here from fresh out of the cliff. A poorly preserved dactyliosaurus. And then there's this lobster nodule. Well that's what I'm assuming. It could be empty. But there's only one way to find out and that's to crack them both open. Cracked open to reveal this. I will leave this on this rock in case somebody else wants it because unfortunately it wasn't preserved well. Well it's popped open okay. Let's have a look what was inside it. Another very poorly preserved lobster fossil. Not really worth taking that one. The outer whirl of a large Harposterus ammonite. The sea has definitely done its work on this fossil but it would have been a beauty when it was complete. The cliffs in this particular section of the beach really are huge. A partial Hildosterus. Could be able to get a nice little middle out of it, fingers crossed. Let's see how it's gone. And there's a beautiful middle there. A nicely piratized example, actually. If you'd like to get your own box of ammonite nodules to crack open at your own house, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've also got a bunch of beautiful prepared specimens available for purchase with worldwide shipping. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. Beautiful piratized example here. I'm going to have a search through the pebbles and then I'm going to crack some open at the end on a rock. 
This nodule must have been out to sea for a number of years. It's been extremely piddocked before I eventually found it. It cracked open to reveal this stunning ammonite specimen. Spotted a spot of iridescence. So this is the colour when the original shell was preserved. Hopefully the colour will be picked up using my camera. It's also in the same spot on the other side. So I'm hoping this one splits well. This rock here is the very middle of what would have been at one point a larger ammonite. They tend to split really well with a chisel and hammer if there's enough rock to just fit the chisel inside. So I picked these three nice nodules up here. One of them's definitely got an ammonite in and the other two potentially do have. They've got the right shape. So I'm going to crack them open and find out. So that one did have one in, but it's broken all the way through. This particular nodule took quite a few hammer blows before it eventually opened. But the next few ammonites are definitely worth watching because they're absolutely stunning. find out if it's split well and yes it has so here's the one with the nice keel sticking out so there is a crack which has run down the wrong side. This ammonite had a crack which was going the wrong way. I actually expected it to break. However, I was very surprised to see it broke open absolutely perfect. And that is an absolute corker. So that one is literally the perfect ammonite to round off the day. A beautiful example here, a complete bivalve shell. Absolutely amazing. Nice chunky example. If you enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please remember to hit that subscribe button. So you might remember in my very last video, I found that really big ichthyosaur vertebra, which was totally covered in rock. I've since prepared it at home using my air pen to reveal one face of the backbone and it's the biggest one that I've ever found. It prepped out really nice right to the very centre of the vertebra so I'm very happy with how this ichthyosaur bone turned out. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one.